Oh, and a bit of luck to finish it off. A match that promised so much. In the end, it was a bit of a damp squib. The injury obviously played its part, but uh, you can't fault Hubi Hergach. His second career title victory, first time here at Delray Beach. He's the champion. Team Russia. Russia. 6-1, 16. Game. Set the match. When competitors become colleagues, they can become champions. Team Russia win the ATP Cup. What a dominant display from Medvedev and Rublev. And the Genius. second to a title Sinner going to, to Yannick Sinner. 6 4. It wasn't always pretty, it wasn't straightforward, but in the end, he had enough and was good enough to find the finishing line. So, congratulations. Well, this time he does it. Electric from Evans. A first ATP to a title at the Murray River Open. Oh, he's thoroughly deserved this victory. He's played superb all week. It is a day he will never forget Alexei Poprin, his first ever ATP Tour title. He was absolutely flawless today, the Australian. A nice embrace at the net between the two. He's done it. The arms go aloft. Yes, David, you are a champion once again. Five, seven, what six, a four, comeback from Goffin. And after two semi final appearances here in Montpellier. Well, well, seven, 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 Andre Rublev is the champion in Rotterdam. The Russian claims a fourth 500 series event in a row. An extraordinary stretch that he's on. He's able to overcome the qualifier, Marton Fucevic. Diego does it. There was heartbreak for him in Buenos Aires two seasons ago when he lost the final. Last season had to pull out injured in these semifinals, but there is joy and jubilation now for Schwartzman and his family. He beats the impressive youngster. He's done it. Yeah, set the match. He's only gone and done it from Russia nowhere, Russia. from absolutely Russia. nowhere. Russia. Nicholas Russia. Bazlashvili Russia. is a winner on the ATP Tour. There it is. Yes, it's all over. Medvedev. And Medvedev is champion Russia. in Marseille Russia. for the first time. But boy, oh boy, Russia. was he pushed hard. A really high quality match. Brilliant play from Herbert with the serve volley. He has got the one he really wanted. 
a fifth title of his career, but crucially, Christian Garin is a champion on home soil. What a way to take it. Aslan Karatsev conquers Dubai in brilliant fashion. This remarkable Russian who has emerged this year in breathtaking fashion knocks the stuffing out of the South African tonight. from start to finish but it is Alexander Zverev who is the champion here a couple of years after he won the doubles title with his brother in Acapulco Catch is a master in Miami. The 24 year old is the first pole to win here and the first from Poland ever to win a Masters 1000 singles title. And he's into the top 20 of the world rankings for good measure. What a day for Hubert Hercatch. And what a way to finish it. Always a wonderful moment, no matter what you've been able to achieve in the game. When you enter the winner's circle on the ATP World Tour. His 200th win. He's done it! Sonigo, simply sensational in Sardinia. What a comeback. His second career title, his first on the clay. And Italy finally has an Italian champion. It's just missed and Stefano Tsitsipas can begin the celebrations. He claims his very first Masters 1000 title. And in doing so, he's the first ever Greek Masters champion. The sixth singles title of his career. What a moment this is for the young Greek. And what a statement he has made this week. Rafael Nadal is a champion in Barcelona for a 12th time. One of the great finals, not just here in Barcelona, but on the ATP Tour as a whole. It's a record extending 61st clay court title, an 87th title overall. The man is quite simply a genius. May not have been at his very best at points this week, but it still almost had that sense of inevitability, didn't it? That the great man would come out on top. It's Berrettini brilliance that does it in Belgrade. After all of his injury issues this year, 
That is some performance. He came into this week saying he just wanted to build his confidence. He's done it. Ramos Vignolas has been exceptional in Estoril. He's battled and fought and scrapped his way to the title here. Take a bow, Nicholas Basilashvili. A fine performance, not just in this final, but all week. He has not dropped a set here in Munich as he claims the big prize. It is a fifth ATP Tour title. It's title number two in Madrid for Alexander Zverev. The German claims a fourth Masters 1000 title of his career. A come from behind victory. It is a tenth title for Rafa in Rome. He draws level with Djokovic on 36. Masters trophies. Another fascinating chapter in this wonderful rivalry. The celebrations can begin for the Spaniards. Nadal is the champion at the Foro Italico. The second title of his career, and he has looked absolutely first class from beginning to end. Sitipas in seventh heaven in Lyon. A seventh title for the world number five. Broke. It worked on his set point in the first set. And oh. it's good. And Sebastian <laughs> Corda is a champion on the ATP Tour for the very first time in his career. He becomes the first American to win on European clay in 11 years. The 20-year-old puts together a sensational week here in Parma, winning all. Djokovic wins at home in Belgrade for a third time. And for the first time in 10 years, it is title number 83 of his glittering current career. And a nice exchange between the players because Alex Molcham, the qualifier from Slovakia, certainly played his part. Ugo and Bear conquers the grass of Halle. A new name on the trophy at the Noventi Open as the Frenchman claims his biggest ever title. His first at ATP 500 level. He was too strong today for Andre Rublev. It is the biggest title of Matteo Berrettini's career. Two sets to one. Six four. 
his very first ATP 500 trophy. The fifth title of his career, a second this season. Why not finish with a flourish? A tremendous last 20 minutes from Daniel Medvedev. And he has won his 11th ATP title. His second of the year, and he's first on grass. And Alex Divinor is the 2021 Viking International Eastbourne champion. It was a terrific final between these two. Pablo Carreño Busta is the champion in Hamburg. A release of emotion, a sigh of relief, and he can start to celebrate the biggest title of his career. His he's done it. Finally. Rude stutters rather than races over the finish line. It's Norway's day in Sweden. And Kasper Ruud is champion in Borstad. And 26 years after his father Christian finished runner-up here. <laughs> Big heavy forehand this time. Works its magic. Arms aloft from Kevin Anderson. He's the champion of the 45th edition Hall of Fame Open. Game, set match, room. And it's back-to-back -back titles on the ATP Tour for this amazing Norwegian Kasper Ruud. It's a third title of 2021. of what should be many, many great titles for Carlos Alcaraz of Spain, champion of Umar, and just 18. And this time he's done it. Cameron Norrie is a tour titleist for the first time. At the fifth attempt, it was edgy in the end, but he's got over the line. What a way to wrap up the hat trick. It belongs to Casper Ruud, the first man since Andy Murray in 2011 to win three titles in a row. Borstad, Gestad, and now Kitzbühel all added to the collection in a dominant clay court summer. John Isner makes more history in Atlanta. It's title number six in his ninth final. A disappointing way for Brandon Nakashima. Yannick Sinner wins big in the US capital. A first ATP 500 crown for the Italian teenager. It is the third ATP Tour title of his young career. Yeah, 
Daniel Medvedev is the master in Toronto. And it really was a masterclass this afternoon. His fourth title at this level. Alexander Zverev is the 2021 Western and Southern Open champion. It is a fifth Masters 1000 title for the German, who is just brimming with confidence right now. Fresh off the proudest moment in his career, winning the gold medal. Ilya Ivashka is a tour titleist for the first time. And that's what it means to him. He is Winston Salem Open champion for 2021 in a ruthlessly efficient display against a woefully below par Mikel Ema, who for whatever reason could not bring his game to the court. He's done it. What a week for Kwon Sun Wu. At the age of 23, he's come out of the wilderness, because that's where he's been. Ouch. Arms aloft in celebration, Hubert Hurkacz is champion in Mets, his first title in Europe after three in the USA. It is his third of the season. A successful title defence, Yannick Sinner quite superb over the course of the whole week and particularly with the title on the line. Kasper Ruud smiling in the San Diego sunshine. It's another trophy for this remarkable young Norwegian as he continues. Cam conquers California for his maiden Masters 1000 title. The cherry on top of the cake after what has been a quite sensational season. And he's not done with yet. He will have all eyes on Turin now at the end of the year after putting himself into a great position. Title number four of a stellar season for Yannick Sinner. And the Italian's remarkable and relentless rise continues. It just wasn't Diego Schwarzman's day. Sinner too strong in all departments as he deservedly claims the trophy in Antwerp. Karatsev claims the Kremlin Cup for the first time. Just the second title of his career, the second of the year. What a year it has turned out to be for him. Simple as you like, ruthless efficiency. Zverev is victorious in Vienna. A five-star performance, his fifth title of this year and if he was a little off key at times earlier in the week it's title number 20 for Marin Cilic the 33 year old Croatian wins in St Petersburg for the second time
Yet more history for Novak Djokovic. A record-breaking 37th Masters 1000 title. A sixth trophy here in Paris. The game plan, the execution was spot on today. A wonderful battle, a wonderful occasion between the two best players in the world. And the Super Serb ends the perfect week in the French. Masters Milan, he is the next gen champion for 2021. The top contender and very much on top throughout the week. Disappointing for Corder that he couldn't find a way, but certainly in that first set to take his opportunities. But having weathered all. What a triumph for the American. What a week he has had. And he's capped it off with the championship. Warmly congratulated by the defending champion, Tommy Paul, winning his first ever tour title and winning it in style. Alexander Zverev is the champion in Turin. He wins the Nito ATP Finals for the second time in four years. And he takes down the top two players in the world back-to-back to, back to do so. What an...